Investors are hoping for a rebound today after stock markets slid again yesterday. The Dow Jones is down now more than 4,000 points since the beginning of the year. Meanwhile, gas prices keep going up. They've now hit an all-time high, and analysts say that only adds to the crushing inflation facing American families. Chief Economics Correspondent Rebecca Jarvis joins me live now with the latest on all this. Rebecca, good morning. We know concerns are growing now that we could be headed toward a recession. How realistic is that, and what are, what are analysts looking out for? Well, Diane, what economists are always dealing in is probabilities, and the odds of a recession have been rising in recent weeks and months. Deutsche Bank puts the chances of a recession at high, happening towards the end of 2023 or early 2024. Goldman Sachs has their odds at about 35 percent that a recession will happen uh, in the next 24 months. But it's important to keep in mind here, none of this is inevitable. At the same time, if you look back to World War II, every single U.S. recession was preceded by high inflation, broadly rising prices, and that is exactly why these analyst calls suggest that there's a good chance of this because we're in that type of environment with gasoline prices today, as you said, hitting a new record high, $4.37 a gallon nationwide. And that inflation number hit 8.5% in March, the highest it's been since 1981. Should we expect to see that number climb even higher? Well, analysts are forecasting when we get our new CPI report that comes out tomorrow that prices overall will jump 8.1 percent in April. That would mean prices peaked in March. But it's important to remember here that what we've seen, especially in gasoline prices, is that they have been climbing. And now there's a big concern about what the Federal Reserve will have to do when they step in and continue to hike interest rates. And that, again, is where these questions about where the economy economy is going. We know it needs to slow down so that prices don't get so far out of reach for American families that people can't afford groceries and gas, Diane. All right, Rebecca Jarvis, always great to have you, Rebecca. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.